In this tutorial, I will show you how to integrate a device into a project, configure it, and get measured values in the web interface as an introduction to working with the GridVis. In the project tree, expand the Devices entry and double-click the By Type folder. This will open the overview of all devices added to this project. As you can see, this project does not yet contain any devices. Click on Add New Device. If you have several projects open in the GridVis, you can select here to which project the device should be added. The devices are divided into different categories. You have the possibility to apply a filter. To do this, simply enter term in the text field. For this tutorial, I add a UMG 512 to the project. This device is in the category UMG 500 series. Depending on the device and its installation method, different connection types are available. The UMG 512 is connected via TCP IP. Enter the IP address of the UMG 512. Refer to the user manual to find out how to determine the IP address on the device. Click on Connection Test to check the IP address. The GridVis now attempts to establish a connection to the specified address. The result is displayed in a pop-up window. Add the UMG 512 to the project. Expand the UMG 512 entry in the project tree. and double-click on the device you have just added. This will open the overview window for the device. Various functions for the UMG 512 are available in this window. Two of these functions are presented in this tutorial. The setting of the transformer ratio of the connected current transformers and the setup of an automatic synchronization. Synchronization means that the measured values saved in the device are transferred to the GridVis and saved in the database. Open the configuration. The interface of the device configuration differs depending on the device. Go to the entry of the current transformers. Set the transformer ratio of the connected transformer. In this example, it is a 100 to 1 transformer. Click on Transmit to change the setting in the device. Please note that each configuration change must first be transmitted to the respective device before it takes effect. After successful transmit, a confirmation appears. To be able to use the measured values stored in the device in the GridVis, the device must be synchronized. You start the manual synchronization either via the overview window of the device or via the device entry in the project tree. Start the synchronization manually. All measured values stored in the device have been transferred. Please note that only the measured values up to the time of the last synchronization are available to you in the GridVis. The device synchronization can also be automated. To do this, you first need a time plan that defines the times at which the device is to be synchronized. You can use one of the preset time plans or create your own time plan. In the project tree, expand the time management entry and double-click on Time Instant Management. The GridVis is delivered with four time plans. You can adapt these time plans to your needs or add new time plans. 
click on the clock icon in the upper right corner to create a new time plan. Give the time plan a name. With the tags you define for which function this time plan can be used. Activate all tags to be able to use the time plan independent of the application. You can change the start date if necessary. Click on the clock icon at the bottom left to create an entry for the regular time. The device should be synchronized once an hour, every half hour. You can specify additional times with more entries. For control purposes, you can see the time of the next execution in the created entry on the right and a graphical overview of all defined times in the upper area. Click on the disk icon to save the settings. In the next step, you can add exceptions. This is useful, for example, if an action is to be performed from Monday to Friday, but not on the weekend. Click on the disk icon again to save any exceptions you may have set. The time plan for the regular synchronization is now created. To start the automatic synchronization, the device must be assigned to the time plan. Do this by right-clicking in the project tree on the UMG 512 and click on Auto Download in the context menu. Select the time plan you just created. You can see on the overview page of a device whether a time plan has been assigned to the device. In order to be able to use devices in the web application, they must be integrated in a project in the GridVis desktop. This project must additionally be added to the service. Open the server configuration in the web interface of the service. This can be found in the top left menu under Settings System Since no project has been added yet, the System Settings page appears directly when you open the web interface. Click on Main Project in the Actions column. Use the Upload button to add a project. At this point, you need the local file path of your project. Therefore, switch to the GridVis desktop. On the overview window of the project, the local file path is shown. Copy it. Switch back to the web interface of the service. Paste the local file path of the project. Click on Load. The project is now available in the web interface. Switch to the Server tab. The service does not yet have a main project. The main project stores application-related data such as the users created. You can add as many projects as you like, but one must be set as the main project. In the main project row, Click on Click to Edit. If several projects are added, you can select a project in the drop-down menu. Set the project with OK. Confirm the restart to change the main project. Warning messages appear as a result of the restart. Wait until the restart has been performed and log in again. Open the server configuration again.
The project was successfully set as the main project. However, the device integrated in it is still managed by the GridWiz desktop. This means that all actions such as automatic synchronization are performed by the GridWiz desktop. It is recommended to let the service manage the devices as the service usually runs continuously. Device actions can be performed with it without the GridWiz desktop having to be started. In the Manage Devices row, click on the Manage Devices button. This assigns all devices integrated in the project to the service. Confirm the assignment. The device is now managed by the service. To be able to display historical values, the device must first have been synchronized. Live values of the device can be displayed directly. Click on the icon on the right to configure the displayed columns. Click on Measurement Values, Voltage, Voltage Effective, U Effective L1. In the right area, set parameters to display the column. You can display historical values for any period of time. The measured value appears in the added column. In addition to the historical values, you can also display live values. To do this, open the settings of the column with the measured value in the column configuration. Select Live Values. You can see from the green dot that this is a live value. Thank you for your interest in this tutorial. For more information, please visit wiki.janitza.de.